Hi, welcome to the section on verifying your network, testing and securing your network with Python. In this section, we're going to take a look at test your DHCP server and client, IP reachability testing, OS fingerprinting, as well as using Python for network stress testing, as well as testing the network speed. So let's talk about test your DHCP server and client. So in this video, we're going to take a look at use Python as a flexible DHCP client to decode the responses as well as test some of your DHCP server settings. We're also going to look at a Python-based IPv6 DHCP server that could help you for develop new features as well as just testing out IPv6 you know, DHCP assignments and behaviors. So the dynamic host configuration protocol defined in RFC 2131, as you know, it's a server client setup where the server could dynamically assign an IP address as well as other newer configuration parameters. It's becoming very common to use DHCP just because of the benefit that it offers. But because it's UDP based, there's no authentication or authorizations. So therefore, you want to take a little bit more precaution when it comes to DHCP. You know, you want to avoid, you want to, for the most part, keep a physical security. And that goes without saying, because if somebody has access to your physical network, then a lot of stuff are just become automatically vulnerable and DHCP is one of them. But since we can't do anything about physical security with Python, really, <laughs> then we want to be able to use Python as a flexible client. If you have some kind of security posture, such as using, you know, Mac address based assignments, or, you know, if you use the, the vendor identification for the three bytes, do some kind of access control, then we could use Python program to do that. So I guess what we're trying to do is to have a Python based client and server in order for us to quickly test features that were already implemented. So let's look at the demonstration. So for the DHCP client, we're going to use this particular recipe or modify this particular recipe from active state where it was written a few years ago, but it's still very applicable in today's world that it's only 128 lines, but because it uses the socket instruct libraries that it's able to just decode the bytes crossing over the wire into a human readable form. So therefore we just make a little bit of modification and we're able to have the flexibility of looking at other parameters if we wanted to. So this is a very useful program to keep in your tool belt. For the server, let's look at this DHCP kit. That's a completely Python based DHCP server. And it's written for Python 3.4 and up and it's open source and it's pretty server grade. And there's a presentation also that the creator made in ripe one of the ripe meetings that they explain and give a good example of people who want to develop it further. So I think this is also a good tool because one is somebody else. Like if you face a problem with DHCP v6 server that somebody else already wrote a program and solve the majority of your problem with very good defaults that you could use right away. But it's also because it's written in Python that you could modify or change it to your liking if need be. So let's take a look at the usage and just a quick demo of these two tools. For the client, because it only uses the standard libraries, so all we have to do is we modify, or we we'll have to do, do this demonstration, we actually just modify the two, the one lines, you know, we comment out the MAC address where it was originally taken from the interface, and we just use a sysarg argument on your command line to take a potentially spoof MAC address in order for you to test your DHCP server functions. So let's take a look. So let's use Python three and let's do the DHCP query and let's use this fake or spoofed Mac address. And it's, you know, using my DHCP server in my home network. So let's just say, you know, if we use a, obviously because it's Mac address, so it comes back as a different IP. So this is a very useful program and, you know, obviously we're doing on the simple side, but at the same time, if we were to expand it and we want to look at different parameters like DHCP options, we're able to use this DHCP query Python library in order to 
test our network. For the server, it's actually going to be quite easy as well. This simply use the, the pip install to install the DHCP kit. And because the way that it provides a configuration file, that all we're going to do is we're going to change the user group because, you know, we just used the user on this particular host and we specify the listen interface as well as using this the virtual machine's MAC address for the reply from. And all we're going to do is just to launch it to make sure we can actually do the help function to see what are the available options. And let's do the verbose and launch it. So now you have a flexible DHCP server for IPv6 that you could either use as this very easily as you could see or you can modify because it's based on Python that you can modify it and run as you wish for your needs in your network. So in this video we saw a Python based DHCP client as well as a Python based IPv6 DHCP server for you to test your network features and functionality with.